Gotcha! Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and today we're looking at the V-Fly Strobe Platinum Anti-Collision Drone Light. Bottom line up front, these things are fantastic. You probably should get one if you uh, fly your drones anytime when it's not super bright outside or these are so bright it would probably be helpful even in the daytime. Um, and that's basically the bottom line. So uh, let's get into it a little bit more. This is an updated version of this guy right here. This is their old version. Oh, by the way, VFly sent this to me, so thank you to VFly. So they did send this to me, but I'm not gonna say something special just because they did that. They just wanted to send it to me because they've sent me this one before to test out. So this is the their older version, um, and it has uh, three color modes, and it is very bright, little uh, USB micro rechargeable with a little lithium battery attached. So it's all in one unit is really uh really great i really like it but then they came out with the big one this one let's pop this open give you your unboxing experience here comes with a charging cable you'll notice it's usb c so that's an improvement right there and um this one doesn't have one because i i took it out what did i do with that one uh let me get the right one they sent me two which is super generous of them what we care about is this guy right here if i can get this out eh, there we go here it is. This is the new version. You'll notice it is, uh, well, I don't know. The board looks nicer because the LEDs are in a row, but that doesn't really matter. But you have three white LEDs. You've got a red LED, a green, and a blue this time. So again, old one on the left, new one on the right. They're basically the same size. Yeah, I'm gonna say that they're like essentially the same size. Okay, and same button operation. We'll go through that in a minute. Heat shrinked on the board. You got the USB connector there. Little button, super simple. Just a little circuit board deal and then battery connected to that. So, um, now, all right. And then it also comes with a couple uh, pieces of Velcro. Uh, you got your, your hook side, your loop side. So you could stick, you know, whichever side you want, probably the, 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 the hook side to your drone and then you could just easily attach the little light. Uh, you could do that, or you could just use like some double-sided 3M tape, um, which is like kind of a semi-permanent option because that stuff is really strong. Let's see what else is in here. We get a thank you card, and they're like, hey, thanks. And they're like, hey, if you have any problems, contact sales at vflydrone.com. All right, now here's the manual. I'm gonna read the specs right off of the manual here. Get to know V-Fly Strobe Platinum. V-Fly Strobe Platinum is a compact and lightweight anti-collision drone light for safe flying at night. Six by three, six, six, I guess six times three watt high intensity Cree LEDs provide the greatest range available for a mini strobe. Absolutely satisfy the FAA rules for anti-collision lighting. Long press the button for three seconds or more to turn on or off the strobe. The default mode is white LED strobe after turning it on, then short press the button to change modes. So the specs are Cree LEDs, uh, three white, one red, one green, one blue, visibility three plus miles, charging voltage 4.5 to 5.5 volts, charging port is USB-C, charging time is 1.5 hours, working time is four hours in the strobe mode. The size is 28 by 15 by 12 millimeters, and it weighs six grams. And you can check out, you know, their website and stuff for more information. Let's just go ahead and actually, uh, let's stick this guy on the scale here. Old one weighs six grams. The new one weighs, oh, seven grams. Are they lying? No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's probably like six point something. There, see now it says six. This isn't the most accurate scale, but... So basically the same weight, so we're not, uh, we're not losing anything in terms of weight or we're not gaining anything in terms of weight. So that's cool. So I turned down the lights a bit and I've adjusted the, the shutter speed in the camera settings so that we don't have a flickering because I noticed that the, uh, the old one here uh, would flicker and so it's hard to compare the two. So this way it should be a pretty fair comparison. All right, so uh, we're gonna turn these on just to give you a comparison on the brightness. The new one is brighter. Uh, and this, I have not actually charged it. This is just how it came right out of the box, which you should charge it before you you know, uh, do, use it for the first time. But I'm gonna press and hold to turn on both of these. And right now they're on the white light setting. And I have the new one in my right hand, the old one in my left hand. And if we put these down here, it's 
they're it's it's pretty close. Well, no, it's it's light is a hard thing to kind of like show on camera, but the old one is definitely dimmer uh, and it looks more diffused. The new one, and I did just charge up the the old one. The new one looks uh, definitely brighter. So I'm I'm holding these at the same height. Okay, can you see like on the sides of the screen there? I'm going to hold them so that they're just barely in in the shot and you can see that it's brighter on this side, I think, than on that side. Okay, and that's on the standard white setting. Let's go over the mode settings. So it has this button right here, that's how you control everything. We're gonna press and hold the button to turn it on. And it's gonna start out in the white flashing mode. We're gonna press it again. Uh, maybe I didn't press it, press it again, there we go. And it's gonna go to the white blinking mode. Press it again, solid white mode, press it again, uh, strobe red. It's it's actually, it's really hard for the camera to pick it up uh, because of the frame rate and everything apparently, but it is very, very bright, very bright red. Um, and then we'll press it again. We get to red blinking. Okay, and then press it again. We get to solid red, which doesn't seem as bright actually. I don't know if that's just a illusion or what press it again. Here we get our green strobe. That one's definitely nice and bright. Okay, Blink, uh, blinking green. Press it again, solid green. And what's new about this one is we have the blue. So blue strobe. Again, it's hard to see how bright the strobe is because of the camera, how the camera picks it up, but it is very bright. And then we have blue solid, or I'm sorry, blue blinking like a slow, uh, slower blink, and then we have blue solid. And then it says, if we blink it, if we do this again, it says all LEDs, and I, oh, I can just barely see it. Uh, so that's all LEDs strobing. And I'm not sure what the advantage of that is. I don't know if it's, is it brighter? Um, let me see if I, it almost, you can almost see it better if I have, if there's like a shadow, huh? That's weird, it's like there's like a line right here because of, I don't know, because of how the camera's picking it up and it doesn't show it. That's so strange. And then we're gonna press it again. Okay, there we go. And we get to just white flash, or white strobe, I mean, white strobe. Just like that. There we go. Shabwam. So yeah, it's pretty simple. And then we can, uh, you know, we can pick whatever mode we want. You can scroll through here. Right, let's say we want a green strobe. We can press and hold to turn it off. And then when we press and hold to turn it back on, it'll come back to that green strobe. So whatever last setting you had, it'll come back to that. And here's something cool. If you don't, uh, if you don't need to use it when you're flying, you can use it for other safety things like on a bicycle helmet or on a bicycle or on just on your hat or if you have kids just put it on their hat or have, put it on the back of their shirt or something so that you can you can have like a locator beacon on, on everybody. That's pretty cool. And then, of course, with the new version, uh, if we turn this on here, uh, you wow, gosh, oh my gosh, that's so bright. Wow. And that's even, I think this one has more of a charge, and that's even crazy brighter. My goodness. You could have both of them going, right? And then you've got this red and green situation, which is pretty cool, right? It's like a like a real deal aircraft, right? Or uh, you could scroll through here and you know pretend to be the police and just you know freak out your neighbors or something, uh, which probably wouldn't be good. I don't recommend I don't recommend doing that. I wouldn't recommend doing uh, red and blue on your drone because that could cause some confusion. Uh, so I would I would suggest not doing that. But uh, you know maybe you are a police officer or maybe you do. Um, uh, you know, first responder type drone stuff, and uh, this would actually be helpful to be able to have the red and the blue uh, going on as well. And so that could be uh, helpful in that situation. And another thing that's really cool about this uh, is just that you could have a certain color combination that other people may not have. So, you know, maybe there's an event or something and you've got other people flying their drones. Well, DJI is gonna be red and green and, you know, maybe white 
Maybe they'll have white on there. So maybe you have a blue strobe to identify your drone. Uh, so that's cool. Or here's an idea. Uh, you know, you might even want to use it for you want to mark your location. I actually haven't tested that out yet, but that could work well to mark your location so that when you're flying the drone, um, you can see where you are and where you where you took off, um, especially with FPV stuff. Now, here's something weird. This is actually happening right now. The blue is turning on. So the blue light is turning on and now we have the white strobe and I, I don't know if this is a glitch or if, or if it's a feature, I'm not sure. So we're gonna press the button again and then we get white blinking. This is kind of weird because right now it's staying on the blue light. So let me turn this off. I'm gonna press and hold to turn it off and turn this on. Okay, there we go. So now we just have the red. So I did notice that with the other one that I had been using. Yeah, so that's kind of a weird thing. It seems like sometimes it will it will turn to the blue LED will stay on. I'm not sure what's up with that. So, right, because it, you know, it's almost like you just have to turn it off and turn it back on. Now, one consideration is that this is not waterproof. It's just, uh, you know, heat heat shrink, basically wrapping it all up, but the, the, the sides and the ends are open. That may be good for airflow because this does actually get pretty warm. It might not even need to be really waterproof, but more like water resistant. Um, certainly putting Corrosion X on there might help, or maybe you could just take some, uh, some kind of like a silicone caulking deal and just kind of like uh, fill up the ends of the heat shrink. Uh, that could be an option. And of course you, you need to plug the, uh, USB port um, as well. And then the other uh, improvement that I could see for this would be to have a, uh, like a, kind of like a little diffuser. The reason for that is so that instead of having all the light come out in one direction, but then when you turn it around, you don't see a whole lot. You see a little bit because of the uh, translucent um, heat shrink, at least like, you know, 180 degrees. Um, cause we're not getting a whole light if we look at it from directly on the side or, or this direction, but you know, compared to that, that's a lot. So something that would kind of diffuse the light in a, I don't know, a vertical format, something like that. So I'll probably come up with something to 3d print. Okay. There you go, folks. The V fly strobe platinum. Thanks again for uh, V fly to send this to me to show you guys. And I'll have links down in the description below where you can check it out. I really, um, I really highly recommend this. Like it's, it's a, it's super sweet. It's super sweet. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. Keep flying, keep creating, and I will see you again very soon.